Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to farm lives and experience points in Sonic Unleashed. So as we know, sometimes you're just not high enough level to fight enemies, or you just want to max out your stats because you beat the game and you have nothing else to do. So in this tutorial, basically all you have to do is go to Spagonia, which you unlock really early on in the game. So for people who are stuck on a level, this will help too. And, yeah. Wait for it to load. Also, you have to be daytime Sonic, by the way, in case you didn't know that. And just follow the path. Once you end up in the area where you can play levels, for some reason I talked to that woman, probably on an accident. But yeah, take a left and go through the gate. Just like that. Now loading. Load faster. At least it's not like the PlayStation 3. So basically all you have to do here is just collect rings. And you can probably guess what the rings do. It just gives you extra lives. But yeah, just get the rings. And here you also want to go up on the rail because it is pretty important. So yeah, just do what I'm doing in the video. Press B for ultimate ring collection. And up here is a lot more too. And that'll already give you an extra life. Also here in the corner, there's another just extra life sitting straight on the ground to be picked up. And then you come this way, press B to go under. And actually, to do this, you don't really need to be that far into the game. You basically just have to get to the area, or get to the point in the game where you unlock Spagonia. But, um, that over there, to do that, you need, like, the spin, or not the spin dash, the light dash boots. Which isn't necessary, but it'll speed up the process. So flip the hourglass to reset it, and to become the werewolf Sonic. There's his cutscene. And now we're going on an even more terrifying adventure. Flipping it again. Pretty boring process just to watch the loading screen. But it's not that bad. And if you notice, all the rings are back. So now it's just the same thing. Just get the rings, and the extra lives, and rinse and repeat. The easiest way in this game, I believe, to get lives. Besides actually playing it, but who wants to do that? People who aren't skilled, like me. But yeah, basically it's just this. But actually, this is only like the first half of the video. Yeah, actually, this is the only first half of the video, only the first half of the video, which is getting the extra lives. And if you're wondering, what am I gonna do with all these rings? Well, don't worry, you can spend them, and that will be demonstrated soon. So all you want to do now, really, is just get to the world map. And I really don't know why I didn't take the rail. Probably because I'm slow and forget to. It's time to go to the ultimate city. One that no one has unlocked. Like this one, a potos. Or however you call it, a potos. A potos? I have no idea. Probably that one. Anyway, once you enter the city, you'll notice there's a guy over there selling... Not these people. Nobody really cares about them. Except for the beginning of the game where you have to talk to people. 
But you'll notice that all the way back here, there's a secret black market of selling hot dogs. And like everything else that's not important. There they are. Chili dogs, Sonic's favorite treat. But don't feed them to Chip, because he'll just waste it. Basically, you just want to go to your inventory and feed them to Sonic. And if you look, when you press this, it'll say gained 30 XP. Which isn't a lot, to be honest, which is why you want to buy many, many chili dogs. But once you do, you can just watch Sonic waste all his XP on useless stats. Also, I am recording in a room with better sound, not as echoey, so it should be better. So anyway, you can just level up what you want by holding down A. I am leveling up my speed because I want to. Because speed is awesome. No, just because I want to max out daytime Sonic, because that's easier. And then I'll tackle the nighttime one. Which will take forever. And this way you can just go in. Here's another thing that you can do to get rings. Which is basically just playing any stage. Now I speeded this part up because, well, super speed. But the flaws with this is if you're not that good at the game, it will take forever to do this. Not really forever, just it'll take a while to do this. Also, sometimes it actually doesn't get you as much rings as doing this Begonia trick. It really just depends what you want to do. Or if you think this is less boring and you've never gotten an S rank before, then go ahead, try this, since it's the easiest level. But yeah, it gets you a lot of rings. And I'm not sure if it gives you just as much lives and rings. It probably doesn't. But yeah, it's the easiest level. So yeah, there it is. It also gives you some XP, but not as much as actually fighting the enemies. Except it really just doesn't depend. Whether you're high, everything's high on level, and everything is high on level, and you just, you can't make them stop. But yeah, if everything's just a high level, and you just want to easily get some XP, you can do that. But yeah, once you have those rings, you see I already have 344, you can just go over to the guy and talk to him. Sir, here's a giant wad of cash, now give me all the chili dogs you have. That sounds like something you'd hear every day. Of course it would. Especially in a Sonic game. This process is the most exciting part about it. No, it's not. Status and level up your speed. Oh, I was so close to getting my speed to level 9. It's fine. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on getting plenty of XP in Sonic Unleashed.